Now, Uganda will be going to polls tomorrow with the current president, Yoweri Museveni, running for a sixth term. Already, the country's electoral commission board has blocked all social media platforms and messaging apps. This comes barely a day after opposition leader Bobby Wine's security detail was arrested. The United States has also withdrawn its observers after Uganda failed to accredit 75% of its observers. Harit Chimea, Fasa Report. It's all tension, vulnerability, violence, and fraternity as citizens await the presidential outcome. Yoweri Museveni, the current Ugandan president who has governed the country for 35 years, seeks to run for the sixth term, a decision that has caused violence from opposition supporters in the ailing, economic rattled country. <laughs> The 76-year-old faces 10 challenges, most notably 38-year-old pop star turned politician Robert Kayagulani, known by his stage name Bobby Wan. <laughs> Although, for Bobby Wine it has been a case of the predator and the victim. <laughs> Ugandan opposition leader Bobby Wine has been detained periodically, his house raided, and his security personnel arrested ahead of the election. Bobby Wine has since taken to wearing a bulletproof vest and helmet on the campaign trail. The candidate has called on voters to remain at polling stations on Thursday and use their mobile phone cameras to record the tiling process amid concerns over election rigging. As you all know, ladies and gentlemen, standing against General Museveni, is more is, is, is a more dangerous crime than any crime we know here in Uganda. As we stand here today, um, abductions are ongoing, killings are ongoing, and arrests are ongoing. Last night, one of our team members, my driver sometimes, and uh, works mainly as a mechanic, uh, one Katerega, was shot by the military and he passed away this morning. And again this morning, my house was raided. Um, two of my gardeners were taken away and my security guard was beaten very, very badly. Ahead of the elections, Uganda has blocked access to social media, messaging apps with widespread reports of disruption on platforms such as Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram and Snapchat when using the country's data servers, although the move undermines human rights and fundamental freedoms. We therefore don't need lectures from anybody about anything because there's nothing we don't know. If you want to take sides against the NRM, then that group would not operate in Uganda. Uganda is ours, it's not anybody's. Those Facebook and those groups did not respond, I hear. And I'm sure the government has closed the social media. Those channels of Facebook and I don't know which one. U.S. has withdrawn its observers after the Electoral Commission of Uganda failed to accredit 75% of its observers. Campaigning was also banned in Kampala and several other districts as the government said it was to curb the spread of COVID-19. With dozens of opposition protesters killed in the run-up to vote, opposition scared off. Observers say that the violence of this campaign is unprecedented and questions linger in many. What will happen after the election? What would happen if Museveni were to lose? Some 18 million voters are registered for the presidential and parliamentary elections that will happen tomorrow. Harry Chimea reporting for Switch TV.